beloved in Christ, one of the most daunting tasks for a believer, a Christian in this world today, is how to remain peaceful in such an angry filled world. Because we are seeing anger at its highest level all around us. People who are disgusted with life, people who are disgusted with uh, leadership, with government, they are disgusted about everything. They are critical about everything. There are those who are, uh, who at one time were some of the most peaceful and calm people uh, that you would ever know. Maybe someone that you work with, maybe even family member or a spouse. But there's so much anger being expressed today and so openly that, beloved, we are living in times that are contrary to God's holy and divine uh, will and purpose in this earth. And you know, most of it is due to something that is very simple. Selfishness and being spoiled. Yes, selfishness and being spoiled. But how is a Christian to respond to all this? Surely not to become part of it, but rather to stand out that they might be seen as who God said they are and the world might be able to distinguish that is a child of God because he is or she is so different and it seems like nothing seems to uh, spur these people into anger like I am. Beloved, we are called to be an example to the world, not lead them into anger and hate like so many are doing today. God's word says to us in Philippians 4 and the very fourth verse rejoice in the Lord sometimes is that what it says it says rejoice in the Lord always and again I say rejoice Romans 12 and 12 adds to that and says this Rejoicing in hope, patient in time of tribulation, continually instant in prayer. Because there is no praying, there is much complaining. Because as a believer, we understand this. All that transpires is within God's permissive will in what he is allowing. So we have to ask ourselves this question. What am I to learn in the midst of this? What am I to learn about myself and how I respond to the tribulations in life. Am I handling it patiently, as the Word of God says, or, I, or am I indiscriminately blaming everybody and everything 
for what is happening in our world today. And even though the Lord said that these things would come to pass. But the true mature Christian sees it and recognize what Jesus said. Rejoice when these things happen because your redemption is very near. Look what the Word of God goes on to say in uh, that uh, particular uh, verse in the fourth chapter of Philippians. Look what it says. After it says, Rejoice always. Let your moderation or let your gentleness be known unto all men. The Lord is at hand. So, beloved, the more difficult things become, the more gentle we ought to become. Amen? It's just like a light uh, in a dark place. The darker that place gets, the brighter the light shows. The angrier the world gets, the more joyful the true believer becomes because he sees it with the eyes that God has given him to see it, that his redemption is drawing near. So he's rejoicing, he's glad, he's blessed. She's uh, 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 feeling restored because their redemption is drawing near. But rather, what we're seeing today people getting angrier and angrier and angrier. They're beating the cross on their chest. Cursing the God that they say that they trust and believe. Beloved, God is creating a separation between those who are his and those who are not. And beloved, as time goes on, it will become more evident who is his and who is not. Beloved, we can be at peace in this angry filled world. We just have to trust and believe in him. Beloved, be blessed this day in Jesus' name.